Hello, folks, and welcome back to Stellaris. As always, of course, I am Falcon, your host. Now, we have encountered a couple of interesting things in our little war with the Kalaxanon. I've been engaging it uh, off-camera here for the most part because nothing really interesting has been happening. Uh, oh, until this, they have sent a fleet. We need to do something about this fleet because this fleet is about to be a problem. You need to get over there, and you need to do something about them. Please do that. Because they could be a problem. They will blow up some of my shit. You probably need to leave now. Uh, as much as I would prefer to leave you where you are, you probably need to leave. Okay, so first, there's this. The Artisan Troop. <clears throat> Headmaster Viola Bloom. So, a visitor. It was a joyous occasion indeed. Forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the Artisan Troop. Our members have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, culture, and all the other things that make existence bearable to a sentient being. Please, if you would like to share in the wonder of our creations, do not hesitate to contact us. Interesting. And they are located here in Gehur. Uh, I jumped a fleet in here, actually a small little uh, expeditionary fleet, which is going to... Uh, actually being a little bit of a problem because this uh, big military station is here kicking your ass. Uh, you guys really should be focusing on the giant fucking fortress that's shooting you in the face rather than the uh, the little station that can't hurt you. You really should be focused on the big fucker. Just saying. Just saying. You guys are taking way more damage than you needed to be taking. Because you decided it was more important to target the little guy. I don't think you're going to lose anything, though. So, I mean, there's that. Apparently, did the fortress just completely stop doing damage or something? Because it really looks like it's not doing anything. Oh, it actually may not be doing anything. Well, these should be able to shoot, though, still. I can see these not doing much, but... I don't know. I mean... Research I don't know, but it just completely stopped doing anything, whatever's going on there. Anyway, so there's these guys. The little purple looking space station interesting okay uh will situation curious updated. very curious um while we are looking at that i mean I guess self-aware logic. None of those are really that helpful to me. This will actually lead us down toward the AI stuff, which is something that we actually do want to have access to. So I have been taking over their territory uh, bit by bit, little by little. Um, it has been a reasonably slow progress uh, on trying to do this, but... Oh, hi, friend. You just jumped into the wrong freaking place. Oh, you're going to get away, though. You are going to get away, but count yourself extremely lucky. See, they got these little, like, raiding fleets that are jumping around being a pain in my ass. And unfortunately, I can't really get to them because they're just positioned in such a way that I can't... Oh, are you fucking serious? Oh, you already... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Apparently you invaded the planet without me even fucking paying attention. Good. What happened here? How are you guys supposedly starving? Oh, that's why. That's why you're supposedly starving. Okay. Well, we can solve that problem. You're not bloody starving anymore. Although I need to actually uh, burn this pop because you guys are being a pain in my ass. I don't do it right now, though. Um, I've actually done a lot of purging because I'm trying to get rid of some of these bit major factions that are really being a pain in my ass. 
Um, you'll see there's a number of them, uh, particularly this one right here, has actually caused some problems on a Sheik. And I've started, uh, well, those, they're down to only two supporters now. I've started burning the population really hard on the planet um, to try and uh, get rid of them. I really wish you could see who is on, who's in a pop. Because we're purging a bunch of groups. And I think... Actually, you know what? If I purge you, and I purge you... Just out of uh, curiosity, where you two you were. That's funny. Okay, so having engaged the purge on them, uh, these guys are actually no longer... Yep, that just completely eliminated the thing, because it, it forced them out of this faction and put them into the Stop the Purges faction, which, of course, well, didn't do anything for them to be, to, let's, let's put it that way. So, Zant Ovak. Zant Ovak. There we go. Oh, all you guys. Oh, well, that's not actually surprising, because you all are going to be very unhappy, and you're just straight up going to be unhappy, and there's not much I can really do about it. I could kill everybody but you, and let you repopulate the planet. That would be annoying, but, I mean, eh. It would work. <laughs> it would be annoying. It'd be very annoying, actually, but... I mean... Theoretically... I guess it would do the job. Hmm. I don't like it. You really need to be able to see... It really needs to tell you, like, which populations specifically are part of specific factions. So you know, you can see just, like, really quick at a glance, Oh, this one is doing such and such, and you can go in and get rid of them or something, or do something with them. Uh, which, as the game stands, the way that they have stuff set up, you can't do. Which is really annoying. I do have to be careful of this. I need to make sure this number does not start getting too low, because as soon as this starts to get, like, less than 10, I need to actually pull back. Uh, because I don't want to lose my... I don't want my fleets to be trapped down here, and they will get trapped down here, and that would obviously be bad. Would obviously be very bad. We don't want that. So, we do need to do something up to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, specifically what? Eh, I don't entirely know, but something needs to be done to prevent that from occurring. Something does need to be done to prevent that from occurring. You guys did get tore up a little bit, but you weren't that badly hurt, I guess. Not as badly hurt, frankly, as I expected, to be perfectly honest. So where are you going? Do you even know where you're going? I really don't think you do. I think you're just kind of wandering in circles because you're fucking lost or something. Like, I seriously, I don't think you have any idea what you're actually doing. I really don't. Uh, so, anyway. We're researching medium mechs because... the fuck not, I guess. Sure. Um, oops, that's not the one. Stenbar Secundus. I did solve the food problem here, right? Yes, okay. It's just not telling me so because we have other people doing other things. Which is fine. Which is fine. After we deal with uh, take over, taking over this territory... Uh, okay, so I need to... I have a few things that I will have to deal, deal with, but... Alright, so let's just look at the others. I want to communicate with you guys. 
So, we can commission an art piece. Uh, tell us about your troop. Greetings, Cole Dolph the First. Is that our name or something? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I, Viola Bloom, headmaster of the artisan troop, greet you. What can we do for you? Perhaps produce a work of art for you to enjoy. Or maybe you wish to sponsor our enclave and its creation of otherworldly beauty. So there's a couple of things that you can actually do with these guys. Um, tell us about yourselves. The artisan troop. Uh, we consist of several stations inhabited by creatives from many worlds, all unified in the desire to create new beauty in these safe havens. They bring their ideas and methods from all around the galaxy, and together we will find the ultimate expression of the self. We provide many services to those who wish to enjoy art. If you help sponsor our work, we might even be able to organize larger events for your people. Uh, so we can commission an art piece. We cost a thousand resources and 25 influence. Whatever, it doesn't cost a damn thing. Um, let's you build an art monument with plus 10 happiness, negative 10 xenophobia, and plus 50 migration attraction. Nice. Alright. Sure. You know where I'm going to actually put that? I'm going to actually build it. Uh... Oh, it's not a very good planet for that. Um, we need to build it somewhere that we kind of have like a spare slot. Um, but someplace that simultaneously... Oh, I didn't actually need the food, but eh, whatever. No, I will draw. I will stop it because it actually makes it more expensive upkeep-wise. And there's n we don't need it, so there's no reason to do that. Oh, you're another population that needs to be gotten rid of. Uh, Xenophile and Militant. There must be a group that has those exact same things on the planet here, because they're being copied from them. Yeah, so what is your happiness? At 50? Okay, uh, we, can, we can handle that. You, though, have to be dealt with, because you are... pacifist. And pacifists just cause us too many problems. So I'm gonna get rid of you. Uh, why is nobody being grown for this population here? You out of food or something? No. As far as I can tell, anyway. I don't understand. I don't understand why you're not growing another population. There we go. Now you are. You weren't before. Don't know why, because that's actually been happening. That's been a problem for a while. Uh, that's been a problem for quite a while, actually. So I'm a little confused about why you have been not doing your thing for so long. But it's whatever. It's whatever. Okay, so there was that, and there's also this guy at Ether Drake. I have no idea how strong he is because, well, we have no idea how strong he is. But, because uh, we can't look at him, we don't know what his military strength is. I do know that these things are really nasty, though. Um, they are some of the nasty, nasty things that you can run into throughout the game. Now, you can actually acquire some interesting technologies and things from them, though, um, by beating them in a fight. Or, there's sometimes other things that we can do. I don't think we'll be able to do any of the other options, because we are such a military, uh, military-based faction that I don't think we will have ac uh, access to the other options that we might normally have otherwise had access to. But, uh, we can we can solve that problem when the time comes. I have also built another battleship, another battleship design, um, because we have the Archimeters now, which I talked about briefly, and I went through and changed some stuff around a little bit. Um, the zero point station really did not help me that much. 
uh, because it doesn't really provide that much more energy than the antimatter station does in reality. Um, and like when, between the two of them, and this happens before even in the normal game, like it doesn't really provide you enough extra power above and beyond what the antimatter one does to really let you do a whole lot uh, more than what the antimatter does. Does. I mean, it does help, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't do that much. Uh, so I wasn't able to do increase that many things, but I did go, you know, set up the new fighters and bombers that we unlocked, the new point defense that we unlocked on some things. Improved defenses a little bit here and there, um, but changed up some weapon uh, uh, slots a little, added a couple arc emitters and a few ships randomly throughout the fleet. Changed you to have a neutron torpedo, so you've got a little bit of both. You are actually not the only ship that has neutron torpedoes, the torpedo cruisers. Uh, and these are really good against shields. Um, whereas normal torpedoes just completely ignore shields, but taking down their shields will help all of the other weapons. So, eh, it is valuable. But we do have the new battleship, the Doom Reaper, which has a spinal mount Archimeter, which does double the damage of, or, no, I guess it's like one and a half times the damage of the standard one. Also has slightly better range. Um, the exact same cooldown, so it does significantly better damage, essentially. Um, but, oh, it actually costs the same. Interesting. As far as power usage goes. It costs more minerals, but it's the same power usage. Interesting. That I did not realize. Um, so this thing is just massive array of arc emitters ready to just blast everything to bits. That is its entire purpose in life. That is its whole reason for its existence, basically, is to just blast the hell out of everything. Um, this the ship will, of course, actually become... This will actually become our primary battleship. Um, it's not so much going to be... the that way yet, uh, because the arc emitters, while good, are not um, are not the the weapon that they can be. <laughs> They're not the weapon that we could use. Uh, I actually had the upgraded ones available for research. Um, was it under this? No, must have been under engineering. Eh, whatever. I had them available to research, but it would have been a really long research time, and I was like, eh, I can, I can finish some other things earlier. But we have seen some of the other super weapons available earlier that we didn't do because, um, well, it would have taken way the hell too long to research them at the time, and there wasn't much point because we couldn't actually do anything with them at the time. That's no longer the case, though. We actually can do stuff with them now. Uh... If we were so inclined to do so. But I'm going to build a bunch of Doom Reavers. They are the most expensive ship in the fleet now. So that is kind of bad? I mean... I mean, they're expensive. What could I say? They're expensive. <laughs> they're very expensive, actually. But... They also are very powerful. So... Expensive, yes. But useful. So, as expensive as they are, I feel like they are worth the uh, expenditure of funds. Uh, I'm going to go through, set up any planets that we have built spaceports at, but I haven't done things with, and we need to build, we need to set them all up so that they have all of their things, basically. Um... And I probably need to go through and build more spaceports, just in general. Like, all of our planets should probably have a spaceport, really. Uh, not because we need them for anything too horribly horrific, but because it will provide us with more uh, naval capacity, which is actually really important. And it does actually provide us with a little bit more uh, energy, although it's not enough to really do much, do much, but nevertheless... It is useful, so we will go through and do that. Uh, that has actually expended all of my money, and I had a lot of money, so that was a lot of money to spend <laughs> building those things. 
That's okay. Uh, so we are continuing our expansion. Uh, this is obviously a time-consuming task, however, because these guys are not exactly... Uh, These guys are not exactly the uh, strongest dudes in the complete. world. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, so you jumped in on top of a battle fleet, so that's fine. You can blow all of them to bits. <laughs> Instant death on their uh, sp on their space station around the planet, and then pretty much instant death on the uh, defense station Hostile there too. Fleet engaged. Like that was just hugely overwhelmed. Massively overwhelmed. Uh, so anyway, we were trying to pick out a planet to build the one thing on. And we should probably do something with that. Uh, by the way, this this uh, that I found, the worm spice, which is totally referenced to Doom, by the way. Um, it's a powerful mutagen that is extremely addictive. It's supposed to give us trait points. Near as I can tell, that's a lie. Uh... Maybe there's a technology that lets us do something with this later on. I, I don't know, but if I go in to do, like, the modifications on stuff, the straight point doesn't exist. <laughs> so, it doesn't actually do anything, as far as I can tell. Is it possible that it's doing, that it can do something and I just am missing it somehow? Sure! Totally possible. Do I think that's actually the case? Eh. Highly questionable. <laughs> uh, you guys actually are pretty good for science, even though uh, you wouldn't think that you were because, you know, you suck, but <laughs> apparently you actually are pretty good. For reasons, I guess. I don't fucking know. Don't look at me, man. I suppose I should go through and set up all these planets. I don't have the money to do it right now, though. Uh, nor do I want to do it on camera, because that's a waste of your guys' time. And I don't want to waste your time. Um, that said... Doo -doo -doo. What could we build here? Anything interesting? We could build a hydro cell tank. You're not going to actually make any freaking money for us, not... Or any uh, resources for us, not really, but nevertheless, it is still reasonably useful. Reasonably useful. Do I really want to ex expend a actinide, though, on a planet that we can't uh, get the full use out of it? I think my answer to that question is no, I really don't. And having said that, I don't think I'm going to do so. Let us build down here in the corner. Let's build this art monument thing. We'll build this art monument thing and see what we got. Seriously? You haven't even grown anywhere and you're already a shitty pop. Ah. <sighs> Oh well, whatever. Anyway, this planet is going to be ridiculous for money. Or for, uh, re uh, yeah, that. Because we can build a macro steam thing there, we can build a... Uh, oh, do we not have... I guess we don't. I guess we don't. Well, that's all right. Build the power hub there. Go ahead and build ourselves another power plant. Actually, let's build one of you. I'm going to put a I'm going to put the hall of assignment up here in the corner. And that'll be all that we build for the present moment because I don't have the money to build anything else. And frankly, that's more than sufficient. Uh, you're not fully weakened, but this fleet, this army is more than capable of wiping the floor with these guys, so I'm actually not worried. 
Yes, there's a lot of dudes here. No, it should not help them in, in any way, shape, or form. Because we... Uh, I think we still do outnumber them, and we Situation are massively locked. more powerful than they are with the uh, battle mechs. So, not worried. Not even a little. Not even a little bit worried. You seriously didn't retreat. You're obviously just asking to be obliterated. Like, there's been several battles like this, so it's just like, what the hell are you doing, game? Like, for real. Are you just retarded or something? Because you bloody must be, because you're Situation some kind updated. of freaking special. Enemy planet secured. Some kind of hella special, because you're apparently extremely stupid. Apparently extremely stupid. I really want to deal with this Ether Drake. Or try and deal with it anyway. But I don't know that we actually can, because it's probably really, really tough, and I actually don't know if we'll be able to fight it. Maybe we can, but maybe we can't. I'm not sure. Uh, should we not build more invasion forces? We probably should be building more invasion forces. I would really like something other than assault armies. But I guess what needs must you make do with what you got. I'll just build five of them. We don't need a full, the full, as big of an army because this army is clearly overpowered for what it needs to be doing. Really. Like, very obviously overpowered for what it needs to be doing. So, we're not going to bother with all that. Because there's just no reason to. Uh, I think you guys can handle that effectively, fairly easily. I am, like, just pushing them back very slowly, um, but we are, we've got them, like, there's no way that we don't have them. Wait, what the hell happened over here? Did you... Construction complete. Oh, you're the overlord, the Justkin. Interesting. So I wonder what happens... Because you're their overlord, so what happens if I, um, make you my, uh, vassal or whatever? Do they, does the Justkin Mandate and the, uh, whatever the hell the other one was? Skaldari, I think. Yes? Yes. Do they, um, do they become my vassal too? Do they become, do you, are you still my vassal and then they follow you? Or, or do they become my direct vassal and they would follow me at that point? Like, what exactly, like, how exactly does this process operate? Is the question that I would want to ask. I mean, that's a, that's a reasonable amount of firepower, I suppose. That's a lot of Doom Reavers that we just churned out. I want to build a lot of those things, because those are, like I said, at the end of the day, those are going to be our new primary battleship. It's not yet, but it will be. And I want to actually, you know, kind of get them set up so that we can use Research them complete. as the primary battleship. I'm not really that worried about these guys. Like, they're just wandering around being idiots, basically. Like, they're not even doing anything. They're just kind of wandering around being a pain in my ass, basically. So there's really, there's really no reason for me to uh, go down to deal with them, really. Okay, what is this? Two influence each month would give us plus 35% naval capacity. Holy crap. Designate a fleet planet. Oh, it gives you huge... Uh, Production speed bonuses. Huh. Cool. Uh. But just absolutely tanks most of your other stuff. And then the Fleet Academy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we want that. We definitely want that. The Fleet Academy thing is actually really good. Uh, and the Grand Fleet. Um, thing is useful as well. Situation log updated. But the Fleet Academy is one of the few buildings they still have in the game that actually buff uh, units. 
For example, the neutronium ore, which I don't even know where the hell we're mining it from. We found it someplace. Fuck if I know it's in this mess somewhere. But when I researched the technology for it, before, that was actually a building that, or a, a module that you would build on a spaceport that, you know, let's see this one, that would, well, do what the thing does now. And if we go in and look at the strategic resources, we can see what it does. Uh, it would give extra 15% armor to all the ships that are built at that particular station. Um, that's no longer the case, though. It is now a the strategic resource that just provides a flat buff to the entire empire. Um, so we just straight up have 15% more uh, armor. There was also a... a uh, well, that particular one may not have had anything, but there was also a um, building that you can build with it as well that would um, do something else with, some, with a lot of the things. I don't know, again, I don't know if that's one specifically or not. None of the other resources, strategic resources, have I found. Like, I have not found a single one anywhere. And it's kind of annoying, actually. Like, Batharian Stone, obviously, we found a bunch of. But there's, like, all the other fleet buff ones that would normally buff your fleet and stuff. I haven't found a single one of them. Like, this is actually the very first one that I have found. And, like, we have... We have a reasonable amount of space. I mean, we're not a huge empire yet. But we're reasonably large, and I haven't found a single one until that. <laughs> eh, that sounds... It seems a little off to me. Situation I'm not gonna updated. lie. That does seem a little bit on the off side. But, whatever game. Situation it's fine. Updated. You're just a little silly. But that's okay. It's okay. Okay, so you're moving in. Where the hell did the other fleet go? Oh, you just have jumped in. Never mind. Yay, medium combat max! Whirlwind missiles, that's the new uh, micro uh, swarm missile. Which is alright, but not really that interesting. I feel like this is a buff. Well, maybe not. Food and mineral bonus. Habitability. Ethics divergence. Interesting. Uh, see, this is useless. Devastator torpedoes. This would actually be good, because these are an upgrade upgrade over the... Oh, that is a long research time, though. That said, I think I'm gonna take it, because that is actually an upgrade over the um, the armored torpedoes, which most of my ships... Which are, of course, our primary torpedo that most of our ships are using, since the other ones I have declined to use, because they're... They, they do less direct damage to the enemy. Um, they're obviously, that's not really the point, though. Their, their purpose is to take down the shields, but... Eh? Like, I, I struggle to care <laughs> about that particular aspect of their abilities. I definitely struggle to care. Uh, which is perhaps my f own failing, but... In this particular instance... Okay, so we do have, yeah, how many of these things do we have? Like, I've got a bunch of micro-fission cores. Yes, I do. So I, need to, I should probably build those. We should probably make use of those things, because there's a friggin' bazillion of them. Oh, and the Fleet Academy is available. Oh, no, that was something else. Never mind. That's the other thing that we already had in our other buildings that we're building. The other stations that we're already actually using for building stuff. Uh, so not actually what I wanted. I want... Where was the other... Shield... I don't know where this thing is... I'm seriously, where is this? Does it have to be built in orbit over a planet that has one? Maybe 
maybe it does. Because you don't know you do have one. Well, there goes that theory. Oh, I already built one. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Don't, don't mind me. I'm apparently an idiot. Yeah, so don't mind me. I'm just a dum-dum. Uh, I do want to build more of these power matrix things, though, because they do provide a pretty substantial increase to our energy credits, and we do need a lot of energy credits. Like, we are actually not doing so great on energy credits right now, in comparison to where I would like to be, at least. Really, in kind of in general, but especially in comparison to where I want to be. Uh, we're not doing so great. So we should probably do something about that. Uh, boom class level 4, which you will have eventually. You're just retarded and you're making my life difficult. Hostile uh, fleet engaged. Which is fine. We just finished a shit ton of space sports. <laughs> we just built like a million space sports. Which is cool, I guess, but a little annoying though at the same time. Because now we have like a million space Enemy ports that we have to go deal secured. with. Which is fine. Which is just fine. Alright, so what are we looking at? How is it looking? Oh, see, now I have to be careful. Now I have to be careful because this is now where we've reached the stage where it is actually kind of dangerous. So we have to be very careful that we do not go beyond the limit of the Epsilon Indy station there. So I'm actually going to destroy this one uh, temporarily at least. What the fuck? Why can I not destroy it? Are you fucking shitting me? I can't destroy it because I own the sector. What the fuck is that bullshit? Are you fucking serious? Okay, game. All right, all right. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So I just have to measure with my hand on the screen here, I suppose, and try and sit get an idea. All right. So the planets that most of our stuff is at, I think, is okay. But if we go beyond, like this planet right here, if we go any further south, like you are probably too far. Um, so actually, once you finish there, I probably need to pull you back. Uh, because you are probably a little too close to the enemy. Probably a little bit too close Situation to Situation log updated. Uh, you might be alright. You might be alright. But I don't think it's Hostile worth. Fleet engaged. I don't think Hostile it's worth fleet risking engaged. it. So I might let you do your stuff over here. Well, I'll let you blow the stuff up and everything. But I need to actually be very careful that I do not. Um, Hostile fleet engaged. Actually, the length of war is actually now sufficient. Uh, to make this acceptable. So all we have to do, really, at this point, is just pull back until the um, that length of war Situation log debuff updated. or whatever on the thing goes away, and then we will actually win this just by that alone. Uh, so you... I'll let you blow this up, and then you need to retreat. Do not stay here. You need to pull the hell back. You need to pull the hell back. Construction right, I'm going to pull you all the way back to Indy. Um, and I'm going to pull you back to Indy. I will leave you where you are because I'm trying to Enemy use you for Hostile fleet uh, the invasion stuff here. But yeah, I'm using you to cover the invasion, but engaged. we need to be very careful. Oh, something weird just happened with my computer. What the fuck? Now why? Okay, game. That was very strange. 
I can just reset something. What the fuck just happened? Hostile fleet engaged. What just happened? Hold on, hold the phone. Construction complete. Situation log updated. Hold the phone here. What just happened? And why did it happen? What just happened and why? Because it really shouldn't have. Whatever just happened, it shouldn't have happened. Like, I, I feel like we just lost war score. For, like, no actual reason. And, like, the length of, of the war thing reset. Again, for no real actual reason. I don't get it. I don't understand what just Research happened. Complete. I don't understand what just happened. Okay, don't, don't, uh, don't attack that place just yet. Fucking chic. That was actually a pur. Oh damn! <laughs> that was the purge going through, and now the planet has been like annihilated of life. <laughs> now the planet has been annihilated of all life, as we know it. All life on a chic, as we know it, has been obliterated. Are you fucking serious? Like no sooner do I do something with you, and then you immediately all convert to some bullshit. Like, fucking seriously. What the fuck, man? Why is this so high? Oh, the no need for sectors thing and the free thought are actually... Really kicking me in the ass there. I did not realize. Ooh, particle lances. Ooh. Sweet. Definitely want that. Uh, eh, no. This is actually kind of good. I actually do want this, but... Um, I mean, obviously we have to go for the particle lances. Because the particle lances are a huge upgrade over the, uh... Well, these have no tracking at all. That's kind of bad, but... The particle lances are a huge, huge upgrade over the, um, whatchamacallums. The other things that we're using. So that's actually something that we really want. That is actually something that we really want and something that we need to do something with. Oh shit, they have. That is an invasion fleet. It's the first time we've seen an invasion capable force in a while. Uh. Fuck. See, what the hell? My war score is going down. For no fucking reason. Like, literally, no reason. I don't understand. I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna blow these guys to bits, though. I can tell you that much. Actually, no, 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 no. You know what? Don't do that. Don't do that. I am going to send the uh, this guy down here to build a wormhole station here. Why? Because I want to make sure that you Hostile can actually... Engaged attack these guys the way I want you to be able to attack them. Uh oh. You might have to retreat because what that guy complete. does. No, he left. Never mind. Doesn't matter. 
Don't worry about it. They left. Anyway, that's an actual... This is an actual, like, combat-capable group here. We need to jump in our fleet and... Oh, no, no, no! Game! Why you do this? Why you do this? No! No! God damn it. Oh, see, this is the bullshit. This is the bullshit that it did be to me before. It did this bullshit to me previously, and now it just did it fucking again. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it. Yep, this is the bullshit. See? This is what it is. This is what it does. Reload the save. We have to reload. We have to move the fleet the fuck out of there. So that doesn't happen. No, pause, please. Get back. We have to pull back with everybody now. Like, just everything has to retreat. Because you're bloody retarded, game. Because you're bloody retarded. Why are you not retreating to, to where I told you to retreat to? Oh, hold on. Actually, you are making a direct jump back to Epsilon Indy. That means you're in range. So, hold on. If you're in range, that actually means we are safe to stay where we are. Not that I particularly want to stay here, mind you, but that means we actually are safe to stay here. Uh, because we can actually get a fleet to the place. You need to pull out because you're the guy that's going to be uh, building the uh, station there when the time comes. But that means we actually are safe to leave you. Oh, never mind. We have the capability to do it now. Now, this is with a bunch of blockades, though, is the thing. And the blockades are adding... Yeah, see, the blockades are adding uh, victory strength, which, really, they shouldn't. They really shouldn't. And it's kind of annoying that they do it. Like, it really is a little bit annoying that they do this. I think it really is a little bit on the annoying side that it does it that way. That's okay though, that's okay. We've got it. We've got this. We just have to build a, a thing there and then we can get the fleet out. Because these guys are within range. We know they're in range because we were able to jump them straight back to Indy a second ago. So we can safely do it, it's just going to be a pain in the ass to do. Because you're obnoxious, but it's okay. We got it. We can handle it. We have way the hell too many planets, so I really need to uh, do something with all that. Really gotta do something with all that, because we've got way the hell too many planets, but all right, we'll work on that. Um, and with that done, I of course had originally intended to get this over much sooner than it has tend ended up taking. I did not intend for it to last as long as it ended up lasting. 
I wanted that war to be over much quicker so that we could have gotten our people, um, so that we could have gone to war with the Astani. But that didn't happen. Um, you're fucking losing. You are losing to... Oh. Hey? How? The sin, maybe? I'm actually really confused about how you... Like, it has to be the Zin. Like, the Zin are the only ones who could have possibly beaten the Astani fleet there. Like, that's... I'm really... I'm really a little flabbergasted. Like, I'm not even confused. I'm, like, a whole new level of confused. Like, we've, re we've gone past confused into just, like, w what? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what just happened. I mean, it's okay, whatever happened, but I don't understand. Are you still building armies? You're not. Okay, good. So we can embark you into a second fleet. Uh, we are going to go to war with the Astani next, so we need to send our fleet, all of our fleets around the Lawnway. As soon as you finish your production there at this place, you should be able to move. Uh, let's check the planets we just took to make sure that everything is okay here. Like, nothing is immediately demanding our attention, like the people aren't starving, basically. Okay, good. I'll go through and mess with all those planets off-camera, and I'm actually going to go and try to set up the... Um, well, actually, I might set up two, at this point, might set up two, uh, sectors. But I need to set up at least the one, so that we don't have the... Not quite so many planets that we're dealing with, because it's it's getting to the point where it's a little on the ridiculous side. Getting to the point where it's a little bit on the ridiculous side. Just a little. And by a little, I actually mean a lot, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, what other one I get? Never mind. I thought we were done with the, uh, the Grand Fleet thing, but nope, not yet. How are you coming along? I want to get the fleet out of here, and then we will end the episode, and we will pick up next time going to war with the Astani. I actually might be... I might get really aggressive and go to war with the Astani and the Adiks at the same time, which is probably a terrible idea, but we might do it anyway. Okay, so... Zemrapuk already know are weak as shit. Astani, it says that your fleet power is pathetic, so you're weak. So it is, in fact, the Tsin that have won that war for them, and I am, frankly, pretty surprised by it. I'm not gonna lie. I am pretty surprised by it. I mean, that fleet isn't crap, but the, but they must have, like, a lot of fleets someplace that have just wrecked the face of people, because how do you have all this territory when you have no con uh, planets up here? It doesn't even look like there are, are habitable planets up here, and yet you control all these territories. See, there's Pythurin dust. It was one of the resources that I've been looking for and just never found. <laughs> Because they just don't exist anywhere in my entire fucking empire. <sighs> Do they have any others? Just out of curiosity. Therian. Petronium. No. Yeah, it is really strange. I guess the the new stuff that was added by the alpha mod, because it's the one that adds like the actinides and a lot of these buildings and stuff that we're using. I guess it probably messed up the seeding of all the resources, like the vanilla resources, um, at least to a degree. Like, I mean, it obviously fucked them up to, a, to, some, to some extent, but I think it, 
I think it is what is responsible for all of that. I put, I am guessing, but I uh, imagine I am in fact correct on that. I can't imagine that I would be wrong on that particular aspect of the situation. All right, so let's let the fleets get moving. We need to get our fleet all back to where it needs to be. We'll let you go repair yourselves. Then we need to upgrade. And we will pick up next time going to war with the Astani. Uh, we'll take a bunch of their territory. Uh, we can, of course, also fight the Zemrapuk and shit as well, but no, I'm not really interested in that. Uh, we'll take the uh, Astani territory, though. And then, once we've done that, um, we will go ahead and hit the Adiks again and try to take some of their territory so they're no longer just, you know, pressing in really hard on our territory over here because it is a little annoying. And once we accomplish that, uh, well, of course, we'll have to fight the Tsin, but if we can, get, if we can beat them, basically we've beaten all of the large empires at that point. Uh, we will have crushed all of their militaries, and we will probably be the dominant force, um, aside from, of course, the significant threat that is the Fallen Empires. And sooner or later, they're going to wake up, at least one of them, probably several of them, and fun times will be had by all. So I will, I will see you folks in the next episode. Take it easy. Have a good day. There is also several other... Um, special things to find similar to the artisan troop and that uh whatever the hell it was that was whatever system that was i think it was this one the dragon thing or whatever there's a couple of uh special creatures and things that you can find that are really strong it is possible that one of the ai has killed them but i find that highly unlikely because i don't think any of the ai are strong enough to beat them which doesn't mean that they haven't, but I would be impressed if they had. Let's just put it that way. Oh, I somehow gained a bunch more territory up here and never even realized it. I probably need to do something about that. Okay, anyway, I will see you folks in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, something that I should be saying every episode. Please like and subscribe, um, particularly nowadays because YouTube has started to do weird shit with the uh, subscriptions and some other stuff. I might start putting this at the beginning of the videos because it's important. We'll see. But yes, it does actually help. Um, YouTube is really screwing up subscription stuff recently, and yeah. Likes and subscribes do help to particularly likes and stuff and comments on the videos do help to alleviate some of that uh, particular problem. So, I will see you folks in the next one. Later.